Alright, 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 guys. So, sorry for the hiatus, guys. But, um, been trying to get this Mustang going. And I took it out. What's going on with this Mustang, guys, is I took the reservoir and the fan to Rivas. And he's the exhaust guy. And just to let you know, he does not do brakes. If it says brakes on there and you guys go, he doesn't do brakes. He only does um, radiators and AC and mufflers, guys. So I took him this to pressurize this and the fan to see if it works. Everything works. So I put everything back. Um, I drove it to the store and put some put some gas. But it, I had, um, when I was at the store, it told me like to fill this up so it's nice and cold. I'm um, put some water in there. I already had put regular green radiator fluid antifreeze and what also guys that saturday night i took it i have a hose right here and the spacer that i have right there that goes to that in the middle it's um tight it's metal it's brass i got it at lowe's shout out to lowe's and um yeah it's because um my two pipes are are, are ripped for the heater core oh it's nice and hot too so that's that's what's been going on guys with the Mustang. Um I'm gonna take it to Rivas tomorrow. He act I, I he told me that it wasn't the fan and wasn't the radiator reservoir to check the fuses. I checked them all, they're not popped. He says the fuses for the fans is generally in that area. So um yeah, I'm gonna take it to him. I'm gonna see if he can like figure it out um because he asked me if I, I could limp it over there um but i said no it overheats but i took it to the store and it didn't overheat but it just needed to fill this up and that's it so i'm gonna try to take it tomorrow guys um yeah guys that's what's going on and yeah because i drove it saturday night and the hose that one's brass i changed it to brass and before that it was plastic so that popped overheated and just poof, steamed everywhere at my house my mom's so i went over there uh if you guys passed through the neighborhood of my mom's and you guys saw me that night yeah that's that's what happened guys that hose gave out now i got a brass one in there and it's not gonna do that but that night sorry i'm all over the place because I'm thinking what happened that night I drove it back I limped it over here and then the next day I filled it up fixed it and the fan didn't want to turn on and it was throwing like the steam from back here a lot it wasn't like a it was just the steam like if it was um the system was heating up and it was like burning off that steam and there's also relief pressure holes on on the side of these of these um reservoirs there on the side um it was throwing some steam through there too but more through the back so we pressure tested it's fine it has no leaks and the fan's fine so when the fuses are fine none of them are popped and i'm like what about inside and he's like no usually the ones for the fan and all that stuff is right there so yeah, and they're fine so i'm gonna take it to him and do some research tonight too and how the layout is about of relays and what goes to what and what turns on what and all this and i'll make another video probably tomorrow at his shop guys and show you what we do to it because yeah it's tripping out i don't know and then i went to the store to put gas you know because i filled it up put everything together and it i don't think the fan turned on but it wasn't overheating so i'm gonna try to limp it over there to his freaking shop and I'm gonna let him go through it. But yeah, guys, it sucks. And it has coolant. I bought the coolant and everything, what it's supposed to take. It's green and everything. It needs more, so I need to buy some more. But the relief holes, let's see, you guys can see it. No, you can't really see them. Okay, they're right there. See that little, like, little nudge right there? That's one of them. And there's one on the other side. So when it's going to, like, throw steam or, like, it's overheating, it's going to... did it too much, but it's going to go on the side right there. That's the relief 
um, to a certain like pressure and it releases itself. I'm thinking because when the system's fully working, it doesn't relieve any pressure from there, so it holds it to, to a certain degree. But yeah, guys, I fixed that over there. I need to fix those leaks from the vacuum. Those are the vacuum lines. You know, and that's tape on it. I got a new one from a Mustang. Same motor and everything. I don't know if it's the same motor, but it's from 94 through, I think, 1996 through 2004. Um, yeah, 2004. 4.6 through, I think, 96. Don't quote me on that. For sure, 97. But I, I know it's 96 through 2004. 4.6. But yeah, guys, that's what's been going on. That's what's going on. Sorry I haven't uploaded a video. It's been very hot, guys, but I'm not going to let this heat... Let me down. I got a little, um, little carport. Ooh. So, shh, videos are coming out, bruh. And the war rig's here. I'm just going to show you a little bit of it. So, the war rig's here. And, yeah, guys, so make sure the war rig, I don't know, it just turns off on me. I think the carburetors, that's for another video. Carburetor, I think, is getting old. Um, yeah, it's, I think the carburetor, I don't know if you guys can find the video, but I got it on there. Comment down below, we'll see who finds it fast. Um, but yeah, guys, what's going on with the car? I just wanted to show you. I don't know if you guys saw me that day, I was kind of really bummed out. It was me and my girl, we went to go test drive it and have fun in it, you know, Saturday night. And that damn freaking hose popped over there, homes, not cool. But yeah, I fixed it, I ran to the store, it ran good. She got a little fish taily. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, I regrouted that over here because it was too hot up here. I put it back here. So yeah, guys, that's it. Just wanted to let you know what happened. Sorry, I 